£7.90. Large pollen chips, not bad at all. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Food Review Club. We're in the heart of, is it SO16? SO16, yeah. Kingfisher. Knee deep. Knee deep in Southampton's finest. So it was wrapped up. Spoiler alert, go and have a look. We have got cotton chips times two. Yours looks better than mine. Yeah. Probably got a better example of what they sell. We, it's our fault. We turned up at the end of the day, got it and he's wrapped it. So wrapping it does steam the guts out of it, as you can probably tell, look Callum. And it is raining. So we've lost our batter. Not the best example for this, this man here, but hopefully we can taste the food and give you some kind of review. Now, Callum, here's the Grand Curry Sauce reveal. Yeah, that is your standard fish and chip shop curry sauce, just the way we like it. Now, Big Daddy B, you brought us here. Yeah. Tell us about the gap. What's it all about? Mate, it's been here years. It's probably the only fish and chip shop in about a three mile radius. <laughs> They got, you know, no social media. You can't find them on Google. This is literally just word of mouth. You know, you, your nan's sister's dog likes eating here, so your neighbour come here, that sort of thing. <laughs> Seven pound ninety, large pollen chips, not bad at all. So, should we dive in? What we're we saying then? What we're we going there for then? We're going for some fish. Chippies. Yeah, the batter is, the batter is like wet. Do you mind a bit better? We got a bit of crunch yeah. here. Nice white, white fish though. Plenty of salt and vinegar on it. Mm. Steaming hot, look. It's not all bad. Dude, mine's still a bit crispy. It's actually nice. The taste is definitely there. It's got lashings of salt and vinegar. And at this end, Callum, we see promise of some nice batter. Just get into the middle here though. And this is the sort of batter which I'm not a huge fan of. It's like that encasing style skin. It does hold good flavor, but it's heavy, it's dense. Mine is slightly better. What do you, how do you like your fish and chips? Do you like it like yeah. that? Because I know a lot of people do like it like that. I do actually prefer it a, a bit more heavy. Yeah. I don't know if it's soggy, but... It's all a preference thing, right? A bit more heavy, and that is... Look how white that is. Yeah, that's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, I lost it. Sharon's Karen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's lovely fish. Can't deny that. What Billy's saying is, bang on, the fish, that's gorgeous. Look at that nice big flake. Tender, buttery, mm. not mushy. Still has that form about it, that hold that we want. What are we going to curry sauce, Ready? It's your bunk standard curry sauce that we all know and love. Nothing to write home about, but it's not bad. It is what it is. It's good. <laughs> yeah, it's good. A bad worse. Yeah. Nice and thick. But I suppose this is a. Uh, a chance for Southampton to let us know where must you go for fish and chips. This is Billy's favourite. What are you saying? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Tell us where to go next. Because this is good. Mm. Your local option. Can it be beaten? Yeah, I think it can, mate. Or maybe just had a bad day because we wrapped it up and it's raining, I don't know. It's good. I feel a little bit disappointed. It's halfway there to being like properly delicious. And I don't know whether the, the other sort of 70, 60% is on my own, in my own head because it's raining and whatever else. These things can't be helped, so it's a tough one for me because it's got, they've got a family to feed. We're not monsters. <laughs> but that is. Whee. That's the most professional fucking segue you've ever seen in your that life. That was very We've good. We've seen this in the fridge. <laughs> we are regular monster drinkers in our. Uh, Car, but we drink the Monster Ultra, which is the what? Yes, bro. What are you Come saying? On. Come on. Yes, we drink Monster Ultra, which is the sugar-free one. Tastes delicious, fresh as guts. And we have never seen this one before. Nah. Ultra Never-ever. Rose, Ro Rosa. How good were their drinks? They dri they? Excellent drinks counter, Slushies, and they did have the slushy. Milkshake. The kids' favourite. Give it a while. Here we go. Pour them. So what are we expecting? It's gonna be like. Like a red version of, it says grapefruit, apparently. Oh! 
He needs to change gear, bro. <laughs> My man's gonna be saying goodbye to his clutch. Right, here we go, Monster Ultra. Hmm. That's delicious. Yeah, tasty. Where would you rank that in the Monster Ultra uh, ranking? I think it's slightly better than the other one. Very, the one. very, very similar, but a slight fruitiness. Yeah. A fruity uh, zing. Mm -hmm. So a little zing on the end of your tongue. Also, a big shout out to Monster. If you want to sponsor our page, great opportunity for you. Maybe mm -hmm. a big Monster sign here. Hey, hey! <laughs> Imagine if they actually turned up and like, yeah, we want to sponsor your content. What would we do? <laughs> Where would we go first? Lego. I'd go to Legoland. Yeah. <laughs> to celebrate, wouldn't you? Get your driving license. Yeah. <laughs> what would you do? Probably. Monster turned up and said, we want to sponsor your content. Vegas. Vegas. Monster truck. Legoland, monster truck. Oh, it's good. Here we go. The PR team from Monster are watching this. Get at us. What do you want? Legoland, Vegas or Legoland, monster? Vegas. We could go to space. <laughs> Be the first food reviewer to do a review in space. I wouldn't get up past the launch or whatever. I'd have heart attack. <laughs> you could probably bump the past a bit this test, couldn't Just you? Just about. Just about. All right, cool. Time for a score. Billy, I'm going to ask you to go first. I think I'm going to give an, it an honest 7.8. I think without the elements, the weather, I think it would have been sort of the mid-8s. Mid I think taking that into consideration, yeah. I don't think you're far off, mate. I think... Uh, flavours there. I think all the flavours there. The we, great. we have been all over the country and tried some of the best, so my, maybe my scale is different than people's. I don't know. For me, I can't give this anything more today than a 6.9, but what you're saying is right. With the right conditions, if it wasn't wrapped, he's, he's, he's wanted, to get, wanted to get out of the shop and shut the door. I can see why he's done it. It's pretty good value. <coughs> good value. 6.9 for me today, because we're not looking for quality, but I've not got, really got a bad word to say about it. The flavor was all there. It wasn't quite my style, but I enjoyed it. SO16, thanks for having us. Anything you want to say? I want to say, big up all the mushes and mushettes. So I'm to stand up, you know. So. Come on. Hey. People licking your lips, checking the dips. Uh. We're checking out the best of the bunch. So you can get your best breakfast, dinner or lunch. It's Matt D and Jess coming with a full review. We've been traveling, trying to find the best foods for you. Yeah, now that's a review.